Hi there, welcome back. Today's concept is encumbrance. Not only are we going to define it and provide examples, we're also going to explain the different types of encumbrances and how they're important in real estate. Let's start with a very simple definition of encumbrance. An encumbrance is a claim against a real estate property, and the claim is filed by someone who is not the current property owner. Most likely, the claim will be resolved before the ownership is transferred, and any lien against the property must be legally filed and recorded. Types of encumbrances include the following. Number one, and this is very common, is the mortgage. It's a financial encumbrance that occurs when a lender or a bank loans the property owner money to purchase the property by imposing a lien against the property. And the lien normally states that the owner who owes the money cannot sell the property without first fulfilling his or her mortgage obligations. The mortgage encumbrance allows the lender to foreclose on the property if the borrower defaults on the mortgage. Next is the deed of trust. It's also a financial encumbrance. In this situation, there are three parties that are involved, the lender, the borrower, and a trustee. And the trustee is a third party who holds the title of the property while the mortgage is being paid off. And if the borrower defaults in this case, the trustee has the right to auction off the property. Next is the mechanics lien, which is a lien or financial obligation for the borrower to someone who has done physical work on the property, but hasn't received payment yet. For example, a large landscaping job. If the owner doesn't pay the landscaper in full, then the landscaper can place a lien on the property. And if the owner wants to sell the house now, well, he can't do that. Next is the tax lien. This happens if there is unpaid property tax. It's placed by the government. And if there are multiple liens against the property, the tax lien gets paid first. Next is a property lien, which is granted by the court. And it gives the right to someone besides the owner, the right to access the property. This usually happens during a repossession or a foreclosure. And normally when all other options have been exhausted, the judgment lien is another result of court order. It's a lien placed on the property as an asset against a party in a lawsuit. An example is a divorce. If, for example, the husband has his name as the sole owner on the deed of the house, the wife can ask for shared ownership during the divorce. And if she wins, a judgment lien is placed on the property. And if the husband sells the house, the wife gets half of the proceeds. Next is water rights, which grants the water usage on a property. Then there's profits, which allows someone the right to use the property's natural resources. For example, hunting or fishing. An easement is an encumbrance as well, which gives others the right to use property. And it also affects the owner's rights to use the property. An easement is separated into affirmative and negative. Affirmative gives someone the right to use the property. Good examples are driveways or access to public roads. Negative easement stops the property owner from doing something. A good example is building houses on a hill. An easement can be placed on the new house to prevent it from going to a certain height so that it wouldn't obstruct the neighbor's view. So how important are encumbrances? Well, personally, I think they're very important. Without resolving them, often you can't sell your house. And that's a big problem in real estate. Well, hopefully today's video helped you understand encumbrances a little better. Thanks again and see you next time.